In the space of science and massive secrets, the subject of what existed already before the enormous blast has sparked mixed discussions and intrigued characters for a long time. This enormous demand doesn't simply test how we could interpret the universe. It challenges the very farthest constraints of human knowledge. Envision standing at the edge of existence, investigating the giant shadows and contemplating what lay there before our universe was conceived. The occurrence of the Big Bang marked the dawn of history, space, and all that we know. But was there a moment before? Could there have been a state of nothingness, a quiet before the enormous gathering began? And if this is true, was it really nothing? Or perhaps, was there something even more unsettling that existed before time itself? As we delve further into this inquiry, science takes U.S. on a journey beyond the universe's starting point, into concepts that challenge our consciousness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his research into the wonders of the universe, proposes that something astonishing could have existed before the colossal explosion. He challenges us to rethink our understanding of reality and existence. In this discussion, we will examine the science, the theories, and the astonishing secrets that may explain what existed before everything. We will explore ideas like self-righteous advancement, quantum changes, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we uncover may be startling, yet they could also open new understandings of our place in the universe. Prepare to dive deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still weaves shadows, leaving researchers amazed and, at times, even disturbed. Let us explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge everything we thought we knew. To understand what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to carefully examine what the Big Bang truly was. The Big Bang, as scientists define it, refers to the moment when the universe became incredibly hot and dense, expanding rapidly to trigger the formation of all matter, energy, and fundamental forces. When we look toward the night sky, we see evidence of this fiery beginning with galaxies expanding outward from an initial state. But why did this occur? Was there a time before this hot, dense beginning? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was far from empty or peaceful. The inflationary theory suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe was in a state that was cold, empty, and free, essentially like a vast vacuum. However, this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained an immense amount of energy that fueled the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, known as inflation, happened so quickly that it essentially laid the groundwork for everything that followed. Space stretched at incredible rates until the expansion slowed down, and the energy transformed into matter, particles, and the forces we recognize today. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly transform into the universe? And why did it stop? Experts believe that this cosmic inflation created pockets of the universe each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric expanding indefinitely, with small bubbles forming here and there, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests that there are potentially infinite Big Bangs and an unlimited number of universes. This vast, mind-bending reality challenges our understanding of the very nature of existence. It leaves us with a haunting question. What else is out there? The idea of absolute nothingness before the Big Bang is purely theoretical. In reality, even if we remove all matter, energy, and radiation from the universe, it would not be truly empty. Our universe is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and various forces that create an intricate, ever-present structure. Even if we strip away all of these elements, leaving behind what we perceive as nothing, the universe would still generate new forms of energy. This very notion confounds experts, as it suggests that true nothingness may be impossible. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with absolutely nothing. No particles, no radiation, no energy, except for quantum fields and fundamental constants. These would still exist, 
implying that even this nothingness has properties. For instance, there is a phenomenon called zero-point energy, which represents the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still spontaneously appear and disappear, creating a strange echo of activity even in what should be an empty void. This challenges our very definition of a true vacuum and suggests that, even before the Big Bang, something existed, something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most fascinating theories in modern cosmology is the concept of timeless expansion. If inflation could create our universe, it's possible that it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes an unimaginably vast inflationary multiverse, where universes are continuously created and endlessly expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another universe while inflation continues in different regions, creating countless other universes. This cycle could, in theory, go on forever. This idea of infinite universes leads to a captivating concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe may, in fact, create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent space, unaffected by the others, due to the rapid expansion of space itself. For researchers, this theory is both exciting and unsettling. It suggests an endless multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just a tiny fragment of a vast cosmic structure, constantly expanding and endlessly creating new universes. And what if the unsettling truth is that there is no before or after, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and dissolving? Our understanding of nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe is not just a collection of matter floating in space. It is a complex network of energy fields that permeate the universe, interacting to create everything we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles behaving as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disappear within these fields, momentarily gaining energy before vanishing again. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, entities that briefly exist before disappearing leaving behind only a faint memory of their presence. The existence of virtual particles challenges the idea of a true vacuum. Even if we imagine a universe emptied of all matter, radiation, and energy, would it truly be nothing? According to quantum field theory, it wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would remain active, occasionally creating transient particles. This constant activity in what should be nothing suggests that the universe does not recognize our concept of emptiness. These fields and forces persist, filling the universe with hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This realization raises an intriguing question. If fields create particles and particles create matter could, this theory suggests that our universe could have been reborn from the remnants of a previous universe. The cycle of contraction and expansion, known as the Big Bounce, proposes that before our universe, another universe collapsed in on itself due to gravitational forces, eventually reaching a point of extreme density. Instead of vanishing into nothingness, this universe may have rebounded, triggering another cosmic expansion, the event we perceive as the Big Bang. If this theory holds true, the Big Bang was not the beginning, but merely one of countless cycles in an eternal cosmic dance. The implications of this are profound. Instead of a universe with a definitive start and end, we could exist in a vast, never-ending loop of destruction and rebirth, with universes constantly rising and falling. But what evidence supports this idea? Some researchers point to cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang as potential evidence of previous cosmic cycles. Certain irregularities in this radiation may hint at remnants of past universes imprinted onto our own. Though still a topic of debate, if confirmed, this would revolutionize our understanding of time and existence itself. The role of quantum mechanics and the origin of everything. Another frontier in exploring what existed before the Big Bang lies in quantum mechanics. 
Unlike classical physics, which views time as linear, quantum mechanics suggests that at the smallest scales, time and space become uncertain, possibly even ceasing to behave in ways we understand. According to some quantum gravity theories, such as loop quantum cosmology, the Big Bang may not have been a singularity, an infinitely dense point, but rather a transition from a previous phase of the universe. This suggests that space and time do not simply begin at the Big Bang, but evolve through continuous changes that stretch beyond our current comprehension. One of the most radical ideas proposes that our universe could have emerged from a quantum fluctuation, a temporary change in energy that spontaneously created the conditions for a new universe. If quantum fluctuations can create particles in empty space, then, on a much larger scale, they might have given rise to the entire cosmos. This raises an even deeper question. If our universe emerged from a quantum event, could this be happening repeatedly, giving birth to an infinite number of universes? Could we ever know what came before? While theories like the multiverse, cyclic cosmology, and quantum fluctuations offer fascinating possibilities, the truth is we may never be able to confirm what existed before the Big Bang with absolute certainty. The nature of time itself may be different beyond our observable universe, making it impossible to ever fully grasp it before. However, science continues to push the boundaries of our understanding. New discoveries in quantum physics, gravitational waves, and cosmic background radiation may one day provide definitive clues about our universe's origins. For now, we are left with awe-inspiring possibilities of a multiverse beyond imagination, a timeless cycle of rebirth, or a universe that emerged from the very fabric of reality itself. Whatever the answer may be, one thing remains certain. The question of what existed before the Big Bang challenges everything we know and reminds us of the infinite mysteries that await discovery. Extension in a cyclic example would intend that there was never a genuine start, but rather a timeless series of universes arising, developing, and renewing themselves again and again. Cyclic cosmology raises huge inquiries concerning time, as it proposes that time itself may be repeating rather than linear. Assuming this hypothesis is correct, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was simply another version of the universe, one that collapsed solely to give birth to our ongoing universe. For scientists, this hypothesis offers a rich reply to the subject of ultimate beginnings, suggesting that there is no obvious starting point. The universe has consistently existed in some form, transcending our ideas of time and existence. Early-stage gravitational waves are another intriguing concept that could hold clues to what existed before the Big Bang. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by enormous cosmic events, and researchers believe that if primordial waves are ever detected, they could reveal insights into the universe's earliest moments. These waves could serve as echoes of what preceded the Big Bang. If they are identified, they could provide proof of the universe's past states. The potential discovery of early-stage gravitational waves would be a groundbreaking breakthrough in our understanding of cosmology and might unlock answers to what preceded the Big Bang. Consequently, the mystery of what existed before the Big Bang remains one of the most profound puzzles in science. From the inflationary multiverse to dark energy and cyclic cosmology, the hypotheses are as varied as they are mind-boggling. However, they all point to one tantalizing possibility, that our universe, and perhaps many others, could have always been part of a timeless cosmic cycle or a vast multiverse. Although the answers may elude us for now, they continue to challenge our understanding of time, existence, and reality itself, leaving us forever searching for what lies beyond the universe's birth. To further explore the mysteries of what might have existed before the Big Bang, we need to consider some of the more radical theories that challenge our conventional understanding of physics and reality. One such hypothesis involves the concept of quantum gravity, an area of physics that aims to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity. Both of these theories are incredibly successful in their respective domains, yet they are fundamentally incompatible. Quantum mechanics excels at explaining the behavior of small particles at minute scales, while general relativity governs the behavior of large-scale structures like galaxies and black holes. 
The pursuit of a theory of quantum gravity could hold the key to understanding what happened before the Big Bang, as it could explain how space and time themselves behave at the smallest scales. One of the most promising candidates for a quantum theory of gravity is loop quantum gravity, LQG. In LQG, the fabric of space-time is not a smooth, continuous substance as general relativity suggests, but rather is composed of discrete loops at the smallest scale, known as the Planck scale. According to this theory, space-time could have a granular structure, and time itself might not have existed in the conventional sense before the Big Bang. If this hypothesis is correct, the concept of before the Big Bang may be meaningless. Instead of time extending back endlessly, there could have been a pre-Big Bang state where the traditional notion of time breaks down entirely. This would make the question of what preceded the Big Bang fundamentally unanswerable, at least within the framework of our current understanding. Another fascinating hypothesis to consider is the holographic principle. This idea suggests that the entire universe as we experience it might be a kind of hologram with the true nature of reality encoded on a lower dimensional surface, similar to how a two-dimensional hologram can create the illusion of a three-dimensional object. According to the holographic principle, all the information that describes our universe could, in theory, exist on the boundary of space-time. In this view, the Big Bang could be seen not as the beginning of the universe itself, but as the event when the information on the boundary of the universe became real, creating the space-time we observe. If this hypothesis holds, it could imply that the concept of before the Big Bang does not exist, as the universe's boundaries and structure might be part of a larger, more complex reality. Additionally, another possibility involves the idea of eternal inflation. Eternal inflation is an extension of the inflationary Big Bang model, suggesting that our universe is part of an endless process of inflationary bubbles. Each bubble could represent a separate, independent universe, while the space between them continues to expand. In this model, there is no definitive beginning to the universe. Rather, it proposes a cosmos that is continually generating new regions, with each new region experiencing its own Big Bang, effectively creating an infinite number of universes. This idea echoes the multiverse hypothesis, but is more rooted in the physics of inflationary cosmology. If eternal inflation is correct, it could mean that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of the universe but rather just one event in a timeless and boundless process. One of the more philosophically challenging theories that attempts to answer what existed before the Big Bang involves the anthropic principle. This principle suggests that the universe is, in some way, fine-tuned to support life, meaning that the conditions of our universe are not random, but are suitable for the development of living beings, such as humans. Some versions of the anthropic principle propose that the reason the universe began the way it did is that, in a multiverse of infinite possible universes, only those with the right conditions for life would allow conscious beings to observe and question their existence. This would suggest that what preceded the Big Bang isn't necessarily significant in a cosmological sense, but it is significant in an existential one. If this principle holds any truth, it could be interpreted to mean that our universe's origins are inherently tied to our ability to perceive and analyze them, making existence itself dependent on the presence of observers. Another approach is through the study of black holes, particularly in the context of the Big Bounce hypothesis. This hypothesis posits that instead of the universe beginning with a singularity, it may have undergone a massive collapse, a big crunch, that eventually rebounded, leading to the current expanding universe. In this model, the universe may have gone through endless cycles of contraction and expansion, with each cycle being preceded by a collapse that mirrors what happens inside a black hole. If black holes serve as gateways to other dimensions or forms of existence, this could provide a clue as to what existed before the Big Bang, suggesting that the Big Bang was not a true beginning, but merely the latest in a series of cosmic cycles, each one born from the collapse of its predecessor.